At the University of Kent, on the outskirts of Canterbury, the students are as shocked as anyone else that the city now has a Labour MP. But it's these young people flexing their political muscle that's credited with delivering Labour an astounding 20% rise in their share of the vote. Josh, a first-year history student, says it all just feels more relevant. Politics have become a, a lot more engaging uh, with young people, I think, uh, in the last few years, especially since the Brexit vote, where it's really pushed in your face that every decision made, every vote now, will directly affect both your future and your children's futures. Students can register to vote either in their hometown or where they study, and Kent Students' Union did run a big drive to encourage this. But head into the centre of Canterbury and you find other factors that may have contributed to the Conservative defeat here. Although I support Brexit, I do think Theresa May has possibly come over a bit too strong and a bit too blunt. We're Remainers here in uh, Canterbury. The cost of sort of caring, social care and things like that, that made an influence. And they don't even want to look after the old people and also they, they want to take their houses off of them now. And I just think it's, it's disgusting, really. Simon, who's a nurse, changed from Lib Dem to Labour at the last minute. This morning, he felt compelled to write down how it made him feel. Just 187 votes in it. History is made. I decided to vote in the first instance tactically. Um, but also, I think, um, afterwards on reflection, I felt as though Jeremy Corbyn gave me a, a, a little bit of optimism that um, maybe things can change. I feel as though, uh, maybe just like my small vote counted, there's a feeling in me, at least, that small actions can make a difference. Negative feelings about the Tories, positive ones towards Labour and a galvanised youth vote have given Canterbury its first ever Labour MP. And it seems the same political forces have delivered the United Kingdom a hung parliament. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Canterbury.